Oh, look, and it's got little feet. Oh my God, they've yeah. got loads of good things. Hold on a minute. When in doubt, just don't buy them. Three chocolates for 16.50. I do need to acknowledge something at the beginning of this video, because I know I'm going to get a lot of comments on it. This, this thing here, this is called sunlight. And this isn't usually in my videos. Maybe this is actually spring joining us today. What is this madness? I love it. But with our accessory today of sunlight, we're on the quest still to find the most ridiculous, bougie, unnecessary chocolate Easter egg. And if you haven't watched my last two videos, I think this is the last two videos, I went to Harrods and Fortnum and Mason, and we're looking at the 200 to 250 pound price point. I'm not buying it, but there's no harm in looking, but we are gonna head over to some local little shops I have near here. And um, yeah, to one of the most expensive and bougie independent food stores in all of the city. Oh, it's definitely starting to feel like spring. Dad, if you're watching this, I bet you had one of those. I feel like my dad has had every Rover that was ever produced. Abbey Road kids, Abbey Road. Oh, they have freshly painted the wall. There we go, guys. Go down to Abbey Road and uh, scribble your name on. Definitely a quiet morning. I think it's like just after 9 a.m. We are up and out. Oh, I feel like I'm about to ruin everyone's pictures. Okay, I'll go quickly. I'll get out the way. Eee. Look at the cherry blossom. Eee. Honestly, like morning, noon and night, there's always people there now. I love it. Which brings us to Panzers. This is 75 years old, guys. It's super old, but not like really old. Like if you, if you're that age, that's, it's old in store terms. Okay, let's go in. Wow, I am loving this weather. Yeah, Panzers is a premium deli and it sells lots of yummy treats. They have a little cafe outside, which I'll go to maybe after. Oh my God, look at the doggy. Okay, we're here for Easter. <gasps> look at the salmon, but yeah, we are here for Easter. They have so much by the entrance, I'll go back in a second, but look at these huge Easter eggs. Oh my God, they are absolutely massive. What have we got? We are here for kind of like fun, silly things. Oh, look at that, a little bumblebee figure. And a dinosaur. I feel like they had dinosaurs last year. I think I should have checked my video. And a little pig. I'm such a sucker for like animal ones. Oh look, that unicorn, that's so cute. Yeah, they have quite the selection. Oh, I like these artsy ones. 30 pounds. I'm telling you, egg inside an egg is a thing. But look at that ornate rose one. 80 pounds? They have so many treats in here. <laughs> Bread and cakes, yes please. Look at this little sushi bar. And yeah, they're known for smoked salmon. We're not doing a 10 pound challenge, guys. I didn't mention, sorry, yeah, it's a Tuesday when you're watching this. Well, it might not be. Uh, 10 pound Tuesdays will be back next week because I have some good places to go and I feel like this doesn't fit in and Easter's coming and I can't not show you this. Okay, yeah, Easter treat hunt we're on now. What else do we have? They have so many good fresh foods and the deli is insane. I wonder if they have any hot cross buns. I'd quite like to get some hot cross buns for my family. I'm heading out to Bucks later. Ooh, I love this display. I think I love, this is very like European, right? The kind of cellophane, I don't know, whatever you call it. Look at this from 1950. Oh, it's light. Gosh, you don't get much. And a lot of things in here don't have prices on until you pay, unfortunately. But they have quite the selection. Milk chocolate, dark chocolate. Look at these Columba cakes. I think we saw one of these in Fortnum's, didn't we? I really like the different, are these different flavors? Was it just the decoration? They're quite huge, aren't they? That one is 15 pound 50. I really like the paper that this one's in. I probably should Google this, but what's with the shape on a Columba, Columba cake? And they have this brand, Gava, Gava, Renew reusable Swedish Easter egg. And it has some little treats in it and they've got loads of different designs. Look at this, it's got a little slop on it. How lovely is that? Yeah, they have a crazy fruit and veg in here, it's stunning. This is one of those places where like the healthy stuff looks so scrummy. Oh, we love a little chocolate lollipop. We saw a really cute one in Harrods, didn't we? £2.65. Oh, that's adorable. I keep buying my nieces too much stuff, so maybe I'll get them just one thing. Oh my God, they've yeah. got loads of good things. Hold on a minute. Okay, these are real eggs, oh my gosh. <laughs> I can tell it's so not only caffeine today. Look at those fancy eggs, but yeah, actual Easter eggs. Oh, they really do go all out in here. So they have these big bags. There's a, now, I do have to add, there's a lot of Americans that live in this area, um, in St. John's Wood. So you have an Easter egg hunk bag for 11 95 12 quid. I saw this on someone's vlog. I think this is an American thing. You boil eggs, obviously, so they don't crack. Um, I mean, I say it's American, I'm not sure. And then you decorate the egg, right? You like dye it and then you color it in and stuff. 
I, yeah, I've only ever seen this on American video. That's 550, three pound, etc. I really like that idea. What's this? A little egg there. They put prices on. That one is four pounds. Ooh, look at this one, 1250. Gosh, that's a lot of money, isn't it? That's beautiful. The little like pleated foil. I don't feel like I've seen it on anything. Little ladybugs. These remind me of being a kid. I feel like nothing has ladybugs anymore. Bring back the ladybugs. I am loving all these like keepsake eggs that you see now. How cute is that? So you get, wait, oh, oh, three chocolates for 16.50. Oh my gosh, this place is crazy. <laughs> and then they have praline, praline, whatever, little eggs in real eggshell. Oh, I love that artwork. It's very like nostalgic, isn't it? Um, I'm not sure on the price, dread to think. A real egg, real eggshells seem to be a thing. I love that. Look at that big one, £34.50. And they always have these little like sweet things. I really love that. Look, it's got little jelly carrots. I don't know, maybe if you're like not a chocolate fan, but honestly, these Swedish eggs are stunning. Oh, look at that one, that's cool. Just noticed these look at the oh my gosh they're heavy look at the branding on that sugared eggs oh my gosh they feel so delicate they are 18 pound 50. <gasps> dino chocolate eggs they look oh my gosh stunning eight pounds and then they have unicorn ones as well that's so cute oh look at the chocolate koala that's adorable and i just spotted these look at these with the little bunny chocolate 16 pounds or 17 even. Yeah, lots of little assorted boxes for Easter egg hunts. I feel like the weather doesn't really support that in the UK, but look at this little dragon egg. That's adorable. And yeah, some little artsy ones as well. Okay, it's getting busy in here. So let's head on to the next little shop. See what they've got outside. See if they've got any hot cross buns. Oh, look at the flowers. I'm tempted. Yeah, Easter feels so early this year. High since 6th, 95. Actually, I will pop over to my favorite florist. Honestly, guys, it's amazing. So they have this little outside stall cafe. It's kind of happened from lockdown, actually, to be honest. I'm just seeing if they got any Easter bits. Oh, look at all of this. They've got cinnamon buns. And look at these little sticks. Okay, they have hot cross buns, but later on. But look at those donuts. Gosh, I should have bought my sunglasses. But yeah, it's the type of place where like every few hours <laughs> there's like new things that are put out. Um, I love a hot cross bun. Right, we'll quickly go to Lawrence. Maybe get a coffee. Oh yes, early bird catches the pastry, guys. What, a chocolate pretzel? <laughs> a croissant, but like a pretzel, it's amazing. Apple turnover, yeah, this usually is empty by the time I come in here, because I, I feel like past 10.30, it's all gone. It smells amazing in here. Oh, look at the chocolate treats. Let's see, they usually have some like cool Easter eggs down here. I feel like they had, they always have like the Dolce & Gabbana stuff in here. Oh, wow, what a treat. This is an incredible store, by the way. Ah, yeah, see, all about the cellophane. Okay, can I acknowledge these shoelaces, I said in another video, they're always double knotted, always, and they always come undone. Anyway, real life problems. <laughs> Look at these ones, kinder. And is it backy, back bashy? And you get four of them inside. That chocolate is gorge. Oh my God, they've got so many little things. They have a lot of this anyway. Oh wow, little berry, oh, berry flavored pralines lemon cafe cappuccino and it's the tins yeah they always have like the dolce and gabbana collab um i don't really know how to pronounce this but they have the most stunning products look at that and you get like the chocolate to put on top of it like absolutely gorge oh this is making me hungry what fresh food have they got have they got any easter bits their salads are so good i absolutely love them and these um, savory muffins. Oh, look at that square donut. Now I think 
Harrods and Fortnum and Mason understandably are still winning in this race. But yes, we're going to head over to Knightsbridge. Let me just quickly show you the flowers. I swear this is like the best florist and such good value. What have we got? Anything Easter looking? Look at all the roses. I'm going to be good though. I'm not going to get any, but I think, of course I would. I love a hydrangea. I'm off to see my family this afternoon. And then, um, yes, we're going to head down into Central and have a look because I've been getting some emails from uh, so many retailers saying about all their Easter treats that they have. Um, love an email. Well, within reason. I get so many <laughs> emails from loads of different retailers and brands that I am signed up to. I'm a bit guilty of that. I have so many. But I used to get so many spamming emails. I literally would sign up to a company and within days I would get so many emails from companies I had never even acknowledged or I didn't even know existed. It's so annoying. Spamming emails and then I would add my phone number to something and within days I would get so many unknown number calls. They are a nuisance. I remember them saying that my warranty on my car was about to run out. I didn't have a car and I did, definitely didn't have any warranty. Sadly, a lot of our personal data is being sold to data brokers, which honestly, I didn't even know about until I discovered Incogni. So things like our email addresses, our home address, and even our phone numbers are being sold to these brokers who then sell them onto companies to contact you, which is super annoying. And if you wanna get your data removed from those companies, um, you're literally gonna have to contact them all and it would take years, which is why Incogni uh, can do it for you. Incogni will contact all of those companies and ask for your data to be removed so you don't have to worry about it anymore. So let Incogni do the work for you and then you will have more spare time for, I don't know, shopping for ridiculous chocolate treats or maybe watching my videos. Use the link in the description and my code, yes, my code, to get an exclusive whopping 60% off an annual subscription. Anyway, now my data is safe and I have no nuisance calls, we're gonna head down to Knightsbridge onwards. I feel like I jinxed it, guys. It has been raining all morning. I went for a very soggy 10K run this morning to try and offset these Easter eggs. But yes, I have got my kind of Inspector Gadget style rain mac on, which I got from Zara ages ago. I love it and it's water resistant, which I really like. But yes, we are continuing our investigation to try and find the most ridiculous Easter egg. Um, and we are outside Partridge's, which is a very famous, incredibly expensive, bougie, luxury, royal stamp of approval, I should say, food store. I showed you it a little bit at Christmas. I had microphone is issues at Christmas. So hopefully I can show you a little bit. It's Sunday lunchtime. I think it might be a little bit busy, right? And people will probably be like, why has she got a tripod in the middle of Sloan Square? And, uh, Let's go and find some yummy food. Yeah, look at this sky. It's very questionable indeed. Oh my gosh, they have loads, you guys. I'll try and blitz this and show you the best of the best. We're gonna kick it off as we mean to go on, guys. A 91 pound lint bunny. I didn't even know they made them this big. That is wild. Yeah, so we might see some of the same things that we saw. Were they the same price? I can't remember now. I have to look through my clips. Look at that beautiful ornate egg hopefully you can hear me over the coffee machine for 20 pounds that is stunning and I, i've seen quite a few of these yeah like on my mailers and instagram and stuff very ornate i'm gonna carefully pick this up oh my gosh it's so heavy 24 pounds i'm guessing it's like is it solid chocolate yes yeah, solid milk oh wow that one is just absolutely gorgeous guys it's got like a spray of a sparkle on it diana's chocolates sea salt caramel Oh, these look scrummy. Oh, look at these. Let me try and stand in the shade. You can see that for 23, 22, 23 pounds. There's definitely less of these this year. There might be more in the general supermarkets, like the little felt bags. But look at this one here for 20 pounds with the crunchy stuff on the top. Yeah, I'm not able to go to the supermarket. It's just, um, I've mentioned before, because I work with quite a lot of them in my day job. It's not appropriate. Hence me doing the luxury ones. That's so cute for 11, 12 pounds. I am not up with my limp bunny times. I didn't know there was a salted caramel one. I think I've had, yeah, just the plain one and also the white chocolate one. They're like a staple. They have so many treats in here. I'm just gonna try and show you Easter, but I am gonna cheat a little bit. I showed you these doggies at Christmas. Honestly, chocolate pets but they've got like a whole bird collection as well, which is adorable and lots of decorations. I'm trying to do this while filming people. <laughs> if you're enjoying this video, please do give it a like. I would really appreciate it. I do like all these kind of old school looking foils. They are so cute and yeah, 20 to 25 pounds for those huge ones. Again, 
with that cellophane. Oh, maybe that one we saw earlier was 20 quid. And even some chocolate eggs. There's no illustration, but there's like milk, white chocolate and dark chocolate inside like an egg carton. That's so fun. And even some marzipan or eggs in those gift sets. Oh, look at these. Yeah, like the reusable eggs are so cute. They are adorable to little to hang up. I'm not sure how much those are. There's even like the Peter Rabbit ones. Oh, they're super, super light. Have they got anything in them? They are lovely. Oh, there's a big one there, Jemima Puddle Duck. I love all of these little kinder surprises and all the different shapes. Frogs and lambs or sheep or whatever they're meant to be. There are so many molded chocolate items as well. Let me bend down. Mind the clicking, clicking knees. <laughs> Look at that little chick with all like the eggs underneath it. That's adorable. Oh yeah, same again. This is like posh people stuff, obviously. And there's also a lot of these very expensive premium iced biscuits from the brand Biscuiteers, which are absolutely stunning. Oh, and the egg cup. Oh my God, I had a Cadbury's caramel one, if I can get it out. Oh look, and it's got little feet. How much are the egg cups? I think they're 10 pounds. Oh, I just love all the illustrations. It's absolutely stunning. We saw this brand earlier, 14 at 25. And look at this, I mean, you can't see it, Easter egg. It's protected from that crazy packaging, 27 pounds. I mean, I always think more than 10 pounds for an egg is a bit excessive. Look at that one, but these are very, very premium indeed. Oh, that's a bit like the Venti ones that we saw in Harrods. I have done a vlog on Harrods. If you haven't seen that, do check it out. They had some wild Easter eggs. Oh, and they do have, I've seen quite a few vegan options as well. And again, <laughs> molded chocolate bunnies and chickens for days. And for a brief moment, there's no one there. There's a full deli in here and a whole store, including an American section. Different jams. I bought an amazing jam at Christmas. I think it was like, oh gosh, pear and something, and it was beautiful. It's head on in the back. Yeah, there's a lot more gifty trays in here, which is really pretty. Belgium chocolates there. For 17 pounds i do tend to round up by the way you may have noticed a few slabs and this little one as well for 12 pounds oh my gosh these these kind of things right when in doubt just don't buy them because if you're like me i end up eating them all in one sitting oh look there's a whole little family of them oh my gosh that's so cute and it's like in a little house cheese cheese and more cheese yeah, I did a Christmas video. I was really sad though, because the audio cut out and I had to do like a weird voiceover, but they've got lots of fresh cakes. Oh, look at those creamy cakes. Oh, 3.75. I don't know, I don't feel like that's too bad, like 2.65. I don't know, maybe I'm coming a bit too used to London prices now. There's the whole section at the back. If you're ever here during either Easter or Christmas, do come into Sloan Square if you're in the area. And they have so many seasonal products. Little paper ones there. This reminds me of like primary school. A huge chocolate egg there for $18.95. What are these ones? Oh, I quite like the pearly shine on that. Butler's, that's a very big brand, isn't it? And then even more. Oh, Bailey's, yum indeed. And I really like a lot of their decorations. They've got some, um, they've got some like craft stuff at the beginning of the store, so I'll try and show you that. And even some Easter wreaths. We haven't seen many of those this year. Yeah, I often get asked, like, do we decorate for Easter? And honestly, the answer is not really. John Lewis are pretty good, and some of the supermarkets are like having some knickknacks for like some people's homes. But I would say, I don't know, the UK don't tend to. But correct me if I'm wrong. Do you decorate? Oh, there we go. Americans in the comments for $9.95. Is that reasonably priced? We do have quite a lot of Reese's stuff here in the UK now. It's not, re it's not really a touristy place to come. I don't really understand why this hasn't become a bit of a hot spot for people to um, yeah, come and have a mooch. But if you are on holiday, do come in here. And I showed this at Christmas. They have this whole section which has got royal tins and things where obviously it has the royal stamp here depending on who you want on the tin they don't ha have any harry or megan don't come for me i'm not going to comment oh and there's lots of like spring decorations little bunny rabbits the meringues are two pound 20 each which i don't think is horrendous yeah lots of decorations on the back of the deli they've definitely got a bigger selection of columbo cakes here i think all the ones we've seen before and way more 
Let me know, what's like a nice flavor to have? Oh, lemon, lemon cello, yum. They just have so many nice little things. Look at this, oh my gosh. All the Americans are probably like, this is so cheap, but this is one of the most expensive food stalls in the country. What are those carrots, but they're crackers. Oh my gosh, yeah, Easter crackers. Yeah, some nods to the royal family there. And yeah, they have all this craft stuff. It's so cute. It literally reminds me of primary school, especially all like the little fluffy chicks and, and rabbits. Did anyone else have like an Easter bonnet competition or something at school? That was something that we did quite a lot in my primary school. Yeah, Merry Merry, I think that's how I'm saying it, is a very, very premium. Yeah, 16 napkins, tiny napkins for seven pounds. They do really expensive paper plates as well. And look at those ones. I'm gonna pick these up. <laughs> that's hilarious for five pounds yeah those plates oh i want to see peter rabbit plates what are we looking at eight gorgeous paper plates for 10 pounds oh my days i don't think i would ever that's madness isn't it but hey i'm gonna show you what i'm getting for me i'm gonna get these chocolates because they look cute i always have to buy my own easter eggs i don't get easter eggs sadly a rocky road egg that looks quite cute Milka, because these are amazing, and I'll probably just put this in the cupboard for a rainy day. A white chocolate lint bunny. Right, let's head on. I'm going to shop for other people. I can't believe how much they have in here. Look at these Easter fun bugs and bees. I'm telling you, there needs to be more bugs and these little carrot umbrellas. Are these chocolate or are they sweets? Yeah, chocolate. Adorable. It is a gorgeous store to come in and have a look. Easter treats acquired and yeah they have a little coffee bar in here as well with lots of little like biscuits and stuff that's adorable but yeah I like all the decorations that they have lots of little trees but there we go guys goods acquired I think that lint giant bunny for 90 odd pounds was the most expensive in there but I hope you've enjoyed this kind of silly little tour um, through these videos of kind of the most ridiculous places to buy Easter eggs. It looks like it's going to rain. I hope this isn't too windy on this microphone, but yes, subscribe for more Friday. This Friday is something very, very special, a very special hotel, so stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed, because I'm still gonna try and do two videos a week until I am too tired. Also, this is really awkward to vlog in this area. Everyone's staring at me like I have three heads. Bye, guys.